When I think about adventures in space, I do not necessarily think about sharding the unknown or building relationships with unknown species, or telling aliens that their opinion about my science fiction game is wrong, as much as my Star Trek inspired handle would suggest. I think about tentacle monsters. Hey everyone, this is I'm Dr. Nana, and today I'm going to show you all how to bring the horror of tentacles to your Starfield game. Specifically, I'm going to show you all how to make your very own mods that add weapons and armor to the game, finally overcoming the past limitations in modding where only retexture mods were really safe for your save games. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe, and let me know the mods that you're planning on making in the video comments. Today's tutorial is about making a new tentacle monster equipment set, which I will call the Angry Octopus, which is a nod to Metal Gear Solid 4. Since Starfield doesn't have Baldur's Gate 3's hideous laughter, we sadly can't go full laughing octopus, but we can go close. We're gonna make my favorite in-game apparel, the Neon Entertainer costume, provide armor and intimidate enemies even more than it already does. We're then gonna make a similarly terrifying katana. Let's get started! This work is made possible by the X-Edit tool, which was created by Elminster, AU, and the X-Edit team. It took a while to make this video as well, so contribute to my Ko-Fi in the video description if you find this video helpful. For step one, we need to download X-Edit. Go to the link on Nexus and download it. Extract and launch it. Go past the Windows Defender warning. The files are safe per Bitdefender. Select all modules and load it up. Your first launch will take around 10 minutes, with subsequent launches taking around 30 seconds. For step two, you need to make a fresh new mod. Right click on the left part of the screen and select create new file. Click the checkbox that says new file.esm, then click OK. Then name your mod, which in our case will be Angry Octopus. For step three, you're going to add the items that you want as unique entries, so we can edit them and make them constructible at a chem station. As of this video's release, you can only do this with some items because the X-Edit team are still working out how some of the files are referenced. So sadly, no rocket launcher jumps just yet. A la Team Fortress or Freddy Wong, we want the Neon Entertainer costume and the Wakashazi. Let me know in the video comments what item you plan to mod. Expand the Starfield.esm entry, expand the Armor tab, then highlight the Close Neon Entertainer 01 entry that has a form ID as shown. Right click on it and click on the Copy as New Record Into option, and then click Yes when it asks you to break the glass. Change the editor ID to Octo Camo Suit or whatever you want, click OK, put a check next to your new mod or Angry Octopus, clicking OK. Next, do the same with the Wakashazi or Katana, which is under the weapon group, and it has a form ID as shown on the screen. Naming it, isn't it hysterical? For making it constructible at the pharmaceutical station, repeat the process twice for the Aurora Chem under Constructible Object, Slash CO, Chem, Amp, or Aurora, which has the form ID as shown on the screen, and name your two copied entries CO, Blade Chem Station, and CO, Suit Chem Station. For step four, we're going to edit the equipment so it gives the desired effects. Go to your angryoctopus.esm file at the bottom of the left subwindow and expand the armor selecting your new armor so you can edit the entries on the right subwindow. For full hyphen name, we want to change this to the Octocamo suit so it appears as we want in-game. For FNAM, FNAM armor rating, we want to change this to something reasonable so the item protects players and makes it something that they would actually want to use or find useful if involuntarily installed from a quest or just from a, a random event. Dama? resistances value, we want to change the resistance values to things that are also reasonable. Since Laughing Octopus had electronic tentacles, the pre-existing EM and energy resistances make sense, but you can change the damage type to whatever you want. Object template, combinations, combination zero, OBTS includes. You can add buffs to your armor here. Given how terrifying our angry octopus is meant to be, we're going to edit one mod and add one additional one. Right click on the right column in the includes row and click add to add a new add-on. Then on include two, click it twice, kind of slowly so you can edit it in line. Then change it to mod clothing commanding 01 to make it intimidating. For the new included mod or include number three, I chose mod 
Legendary Armor 01 Chameleon to make it match Metal Gear Solid 4 lore. Sadly, I don't yet have the means of making this translate to make the suit look like Naomi. Sorry, Otacon. Now let's edit the weapon properties. Fortunately, most of these fields are the same, with a few extra ones. For full name, change it to Isn't It Hysterical? Combinations includes, add two includes entries, and select for each of them Mod Legendary Wep 1 Furious to make our angry octopus, and mod legendary wet 3 explosive to give a chance of our hits knocking enemies back just a little bit, like the tentacles did in game. Combination number one, right click on the column to the right of this so you can remove it, wviz, visuals, impact data set, I changed this to weapon laser impact set, which I thought made the weapon feel a little bit more unique and interesting. For step five, we're going to make it so the player can make these in game rather than having to console them in which could mess with immersion. You make it at the pharmaceutical station because nano machines suck. So. Note that if this video gets 10 likes, Old Snake and Liquid Ocelot will appear in your game topless and defeat all your enemies using fisticuffs. For your mod, expand the constructible object tab. Go to each object and edit the following fields. Description, change it to what you want. For the suit, you could put something like, you can run, and you can also hide. Note that there may be an issue with this field, but that might be something that's fixed later on. Expand the condition tab and change the type of condition to equal to than or less than so the user can create the item anytime they want rather than only when the particular condition is met. Components. Remove all except one and change the requisite component to whatever you want, which could be a wakashazi or a neon entertainer suit, since you will be ultimately producing upgrades versions of these items. You could also choose a gag item like a potato or something. Created object, change it to the new item that you just made with the mod. Amount, change it to one if it's not already set to for step 6, we need to make sure that the mod is working so it'll be ready to upload to Nexus. Xedit will place your mod in the Starfield slash data folder, so the ESM file is right where it needs to be. All we have to do is ensure that the game runs it, which I showed how to do in my last video. So in brief, install the prerequisite plugins.txt mod enabler, open plugins.txt, and add a line with your mod name, as in starangryoctopus.esm. Launch your game, open up the console, and give yourself the item or the precursor item so you can test it all out. And you can do this as shown on the screen using the following console commands and the form IDs. Also make sure to visit the pharmaceutical station to see that they're indeed constructible using a potato. To upload it to Nexus and enable Vortex installation that'll make it more accessible to people with less experience to mod it. Make a new folder, put a data folder within that folder, then place your ESM file into that data folder. Then zip the new folder, which you can then name as you want and upload it directly to Nexus. Congratulations, your mod is done. Making a new mod, especially one that comes with emotional weight. I'm talking to you, Otacon, with your Japanese animes. is fortunately a lot less complicated than you would think. Thanks to the X-Edit team, you can now easily add weapons and armor to your game in Starfield, bringing even more creativity in-game. This whole process will be even better after Bethesda releases the creation kit, making adding these items to level lists and letting them be in the wild a real possibility. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe, letting me know what you're going to make in the video comments. Thank you to my supporters on Ko-Fi, and thanks for watching. Starship out.